Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yah, Bashem Yah Shai, man, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles, and my teachers of Great Millstone. Sincere to you, sisters and brothers that are sincere. <clears throat> now, I want to touch on this real quick. Uh, the Pentagon, this just came in four hours ago. Um, the Pentagon creates a new organization to investigate UFOs. <laughs> now, what's interesting is this, right? I mean, it's a long article, but I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to just skim through it real quick. Now, I'm going to read this little part right here. Then I'm going to play a little bit of the uh, video, and then I'm going to get to the point. The Pentagon has created a new organization that will lead the department's investigation into mysterious objects in the sky. Now, now to them is mysterious, but to us, we were given the secrets and understanding, you know, that these so-called UFOs, those are the angels that are maneuvering and, 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 and controlled by the angels. These are the vehicles of our salvation and also the torment and destruction of Esau's Edom kingdom. So this is why we have a, a high volume of chariots, the activity of so-called UFOs. Man, I seen one yesterday. Call uh, y'all y'all shot. Brother seen them. Woo! But listen, let's get to the matter. Let's read. Let's see what we got to say. The Russian Federation recklessly conducted a destructive satellite test of a direct ascent anti-satellite missile against one of its own satellites. The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of tra trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbitable orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on. And, um, you know, this, this little beef with uh, this little tension between uh, Russia and America is going to get even worse. But um, this is the point. Let's read down right here. The Office of the Director National Intelligence released a much anticipated assessment of 144 Reports of UFOs originating from U.S. government sources between 2004 and 2021 in June. 80 were observed with multiple different sensors, and most reports described the UFOs as objects that interrupted pre-planned military training or other military operations. And that number is powerful, 144, man. This is all spiritual, brothers. And, and, and you know, the angels, man, they disrupt. They disrupt, you know. They're here to disrupt things, man. You know, they can do that. They can do that, you know. And, and, and <laughs> to them, it's mind-boggling, man. You know what I mean? But listen, man, all praise to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, man. Shalom.